Hey, I'm Tim. I'm an art teacher from New York and I'm an ISTE author. I'm going to talk about a bunch of different ways to use drawing and digital drawing at home with really limited resources. Now, I understand that drawing is going to cause some people some anxiety and that there might be some resistance, but these are ways to implement drawing in fun and engaging ways that don't require a ton of different skills, right? So you could use some free apps and different techniques to add some creativity to whatever subject you teach. A great way to start is with Sketchnote. You could use free programs like Adobe Draw, or you could just draw traditionally, but adding visuals to your notes really is a great way to get creative. Another great way is to actually draw with code itself, and there's lots of free programs to use. Here's a look at code.org. So this is a free resource that anyone could use. It allows you to make a new section just straight from Google Classroom, or you can give students a code to put in. There's an hour of code tutorial called The Artist that's really good. It starts out pretty simply, merging math and art together with computer science, and you just need to figure out the different angles to move the person forward. A nice thing is by the time you get to the 10th step, you're actually just making art. So I will click Run. And you're actually using functions and repeats to create your own artwork. Another great free drawing tool is called Drawerlings. This is an app that allows you to create mandalas, which is a great way to merge art and math. So it's a free tool that could be used on the web or downloaded as an app. You could use different line weights and kind of have a lot of fun creating. You could actually take this one step further by using a program like Morphe, which has a 2D to 3D function. So it allows you to draw a mandala and then see it in three dimensions. You could then take that drawing and make it a 3D print, which is pretty cool. So one of the real positives here is that this is a really good mindful activity. It promotes social emotional learning, which is really good for students that are going through any kind of difficulty. It's something that just helps you relax and de-stress. Another great tool is called Procreate. You could use it to create digital drawings and paintings, or you could use a photograph and then draw over it. Here's an example of myself that I did where I actually made myself into a Van Gogh style painting. It does have a cost, but it's under $10. And you could also take traditional drawing and make it come alive with stop motion. So you could use an app like iMotion to actually take writing or drawing and then actually show the process and do a time lapse. Here's a list of all of the tools that I use along with a couple other favorites like Sumo Paint and Google Drawings which works on the Chromebook and Piscal which you could use to do 8-bit animations. So those are a few ideas but you could always reach out to me on social media. I'm at Tim Needles if you have any questions. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and pretty much everything else. I also share a lot of project ideas, so I'm looking forward to connecting. Remember, the important thing here is to have fun and get creative. That's more important than anything, so enjoy it.